Yeah, so yeah, my name is Bafana Nkleko, junior Springbok head coach. Um, very excited and privileged to be in this position and just looking forward to investing in our rugby, both from a junior Springbok point of view and South African rugby going forward. I believe that our game is actually quite balanced in terms of having a good balance between a running and a kicking game. Uh, the biggest thing for us is how well we can assess the situation in terms of our position and the weather conditions. And I think our boys are quite geared for that. We have a big physical pack. Um, our malls are our key focus point. We know the conditions. So our games are pretty late at three, so it's going to be windy, it could be raining. And we've been training in all these conditions. So. Rain, sunshine, we, we're good for it. And I'm quite confident in our game that we can find the balance between those two. There's definitely a pride playing in the home ground. I think the last time we played, yeah. We were the first under 18 team to win all four of our games in four years when we were coached by Mzak and Corsi. So it's really something amazing. We know how it is to be playing at home and we highly believe there is something called home ground advantage. The team's bonding well and everyone's excited for the upcoming series. Break is not over, we're back to reality, back to shifting gears. As Coach Bafana said and mentioned earlier, if it's important to you, then you have to keep going. Well, from a game perspective, I think the opposition will determine a lot of that. Uh, the Argentinians are so different from the Georgians and the Uruguayans. Uh, I think the biggest thing for us is to see how much we can get into our DNA with what we have and allow the players to express themselves within our framework. The Georgians are probably one of the best scrimmages in Europe, if not in world rugby, uh, especially at junior level. For us, it wasn't about countering them, but it's, about, it's important that we also set that foundation to dominate up front. And if we can get that right, we've got a very exciting loose trio, we've got a very exciting back line, and I think if we can get that right, we can then get to playing some good rugby. Yeah, Georgia is going to be also set piece physical. They, they, they run straight and they run hard. They always dominating the junior sport work in the scrum, so we, we stand the chance to actually be the first to dominate the, the scrum, because they will win for the scrum. And uh, if you can win that battle, the backs would be scoring tries, but the, the game's going to be won in front. Uruguay, good at the breakdown from the little that we've seen about them. Uh, you know, they're not a team that's going to try out muscle you, but they're going to try and move the ball a bit, try spoil your ball, try not really allow you to get into rhythm. Uh, and the big thing for us from what we've seen is not to get caught in the trap. I wouldn't say Uruguay is that physical and strong. I would say they're more of a like a scrappy play. So play the back line, look for loose balls. I don't really know much about them, but I'm sure they'll bring a battle. They, they think if they can be like the yeah, wild card in this uh, tournament, then we can't underestimate them. Yo, Argentina. The Argentina is quite, quite physical, quite big. Um, they also play their set piece. Um, and they're just passionate. They play for their country and they never give up. They'll play until that last minute. They are Los Pumitas, very good team, very well coached. I think they've got a decent pack as well. Uh, the one thing about them is that they're looking to move the ball around as much as possible. So they've always got an extra one or two passes in them. And, and that's probably the biggest thing from a defensive point of view that we need to nullify. From an attacking point of view, I think there are a few opportunities for us, especially if we start sort of moving them around a bit. Uh, Again, almost the converse of what you got against Uruguay, trying to get that extra pass against them, trying to sort of get in between their defenders. I think if we can generate momentum through that, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll probably get, yeah, we'll, we'll get good purchase. The proud um, country, they play very hard rugby and they play for each other and they play as a unit, so I, I'm quite excited playing against them. When they come back, they'll be coming with hunger and really looking to give us a battle on the field. Uh, the, the difficulty at the moment is just the short space of time, but all coaches only wish for one thing and that's more time. Uh, we don't have the luxury of that. It does, doesn't take away that we've got to go out there and still play. If you look at the group as a whole and if you look at the drive that is within the group, uh, I'm, I'm certain that in a few years time you're going to see some of them wearing the green and gold. All Games Live from the 18th of June on Supersport.